Hi there. My name's Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech, where I teach a class called GPU Programming for Video Games. After covering some basic computer graphics background, I mostly teach the class using Unity as I have since 2014. I've been worried about Unity's meandering technical direction since around 2019, particularly with the fragmentation of the rendering pipeline. And that, along with some other recent events, has inspired me to look at other game engines. The Stride engine is a free and open source engine that caught my eye because it seemed particularly Unity-like. Unfortunately, the editor seems to only be available on Windows, and I'm a big Mac fan. The Flex engine caught my eye as being another Unity-like engine, and unlike the Stride engine, it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Although it's not free and open source software the way Godot is, it is a source available engine. In that sense, it's like Unreal and not like Unity. So it's free for non-commercial and educational use, which is good for my classroom purposes. If you want to use it commercially, then you pay a 4% royalty on earnings exceeding $250,000. You can compare this with the 5% royalty that Epic Games charges you to use the Unreal Engine for revenues above $1 million. But notice that Flax computes things per quarter. So if you make $249,000 in three quarters and $251,000 in the fourth quarter, then you only pay that 4% on that $251,000 in that fourth quarter. And I should also mention their FAQ looks particularly generous in terms of what it considers non-commercial use. For instance, you can use it for consulting and work for higher services using the engine. This applies to architects using the engine to create visualizations, as well as consultants receiving a development fee. And you could use it for amusement park rides and live installations. It looks like they only charge you if you ship a game and are charging for that game. If you're using Unity at your architecture firm, I doubt Unity wants you to be using it for free. But the details of this revenue share are not particularly important to me right now. What I'm most interested in are the details of the end user license agreement. Section 4 lists that 4%, yada yada. But it's section 16 that I'm worried about. Amendments to this agreement. Flax reserves the right at its sole discretion to modify or replace this agreement at any time. If a revision is a material, we will provide at least 30 days notice prior to any new terms taking effect. What constitutes a material change will be determined at our sole discretion. So what is to stop Flax from suddenly saying, hey, from now on, it's a 10% royalty, What's to stop Flax from retroactively trying to apply this to already published games? Could the company behind the Flax engine do something like the machinery did and just tell everyone to delete all copies of the engine all of a sudden? I don't seem to see anything in their FAQ that addresses these kinds of issues, and I think it would be a good idea for them to add some language about this. With the caveat that I am not a lawyer, this seems like something that Epic Games is on top of. Add this recent Unity fiasco to the debacle over Wizards of the Coast trying to change the open gaming license for Dungeons & Dragons, it's clear that there's a danger in relying on proprietary technology and intellectual property. And it would be nice if game developers could just make their games and artists could make their art without having to hire a lawyer. Seriously, go read up on what went down with our machinery. It will give you nightmares.